You're about to realize how important you truly are. Welcome in my amazing Taurus is true weekly reading. I hope you're doing well. We're going to begin and pull a couple oracles or maybe one. See what spirit gives us from the elemental oracle deck and then pull some tarot. So yeah, this is a week where spirit's labeling you as the chosen one and you were drawn to this reading for a reason. Um, and I'm hearing for some of which guided more so to it. But I really feel like this is a week naturally with the overall message being that you're the chosen one. Uh, but also the fact that you are very, very favored by the spiritual realm and you're going to see evidence left and right. I'm hearing one after the other uh, throughout this specific week. Let's do one more shuffle. I'm hearing where you're confused no longer, where you're confused no longer. So it's a week of clarity. It's a week of, I want to say, puzzle pieces, blanks being filled in, um, seeing things clearly uh, so that or more so so you can move forward with confidence and I want to say prepare for what lies ahead, some of which it's an important change or two. But what do we have for Taurus? All right, we have three coming out, and they want to pull um, some tarot for each one. We have the Marine Life card, Volcanoes, and Magnetism. Let's show all three first. Um, but for whatever reason, your bravery and your inner child is coming into play, uh, taking a focus throughout the week. I'm hearing where do we need to let loose? Where do you need to have more fun, enjoy yourself more? Are we feeling maybe a bit uh, pent up or uh, uptight, um, needing to just uh, let loose a little bit in certain ways or in the midst of whatever um, is requiring that? And um, yeah, enjoy ourselves a bit more. But your bravery is truly key throughout the week and people are noticing this. Um, but there's a way about how you flow. And I want to say how you communicate and put yourself out there in the spotlight or just certain levels of vulnerability that's going to leave you with um, more success throughout the week. And I'm hearing growth as well. But yeah, these are the three cards we're going to go with. Beautiful, interesting, different imagery. But I feel like there's a power about how you do what you do throughout the week. How you, again, communicate and um, bond and uh, I want to say connect to whatever you're focusing on. Whatever you're really passionate about. But let's pull um, some tarot for each one. Pulling right from the middle for each of the three before we speak upon them. Okay. Um, I just threw that down. But the Four of Swords came out for the Marine Life card, which also speaks upon richness. I feel like this is a week that reminds you, again, you're very supported by the spiritual realm, very protected and favored. Therefore, you can rest your mind, your heart, your soul, and regain or uh, grow that confidence. I'm hearing snowball it so that you can move forward towards a richer lifestyle, however that's going to look for you. A lot of which I feel like this has uh, at least some uh, what something to do with money, right? But it's not all that the, this uh, riches aspect of the Marine Life card speaks upon. You're meant to live a, a rich life as far as uh, health goes, as far as uh, I'm hearing company goes, connections, uh, success, but money is definitely part of it. But it's a week where you need to um, get your rest as well. They're saying the moments when you're focusing on things and succeeding and accomplishing uh, connecting again uh, in such an efficient and powerful way is uh, just as important as when you are given the opportunity, have the allotted time to even, to rest, all right? Um, some of which onto the reading are true healing souls and that requires you to heal yourself uh, through it all. After it, in between, you get the point. Um, but you're protected and I feel like being favored and chosen in such a powerful and amazing way means there's a very rich lifestyle ahead for you. Um, and what you have at hand feels like very much a stepping stone, okay? But you may be pushed to look around at a certain point or certain points throughout the week and notice, um, okay, how protected and guided you've been up until this point, but also to maybe notice the abundance around you in one if not multiple ways. I'm getting for somebody it's uh, physical uh, material items, all right? Could be the company you have. But um, we're moving on to, okay, the number nine is significant for you, but the Volcanoes uh, slash Power card is interestingly paired with and um, built upon with the Five of uh, Wands. I almost said Five of Swords. Either way, I feel like um, you're feeling like uh, maybe a refreshed version of yourself uh, throughout this week, uh, feeling less like a wounded warrior, but still dealing with certain levels of competition, stress, difficulties. Um, the battle is uh, being, it's like you're being prepared and spirits preparing for the battle of some, of some sort, 
um, certain difficulties to leave your life, for you maybe to leave uh, one if not multiple of those behind, if that's more applicable for you. But there's a power about how you cope with, you deal with certain levels of Five of Wands or Five of Swords energy. I feel like you're doing better than somebody in your midst and this bothers them for whatever reason. They're saying stay in your own lane. I got this message, excuse me, I got this message for myself um yesterday as the best advice uh for me between now and the end of a chapter but i feel like um you may as well for some of us drawn to the reading be very spiritually messed with and if that's not um uh, for you then so be it but i as i was spiritually messed with and couldn't speak in certain moments it definitely could apply to you all right and i feel like there is a power in how you now know how to cope with deal with and maybe discard um, I'm hearing not react to certain levels of messing with and maybe other uh, difficult aspects of your current day situation or situations. Anyways, but um, you're going to feel empowered at certain points throughout the week because of spirit, because of, um, I want to say your own actions, your own holding back. And there's a sense of you getting confirmation and maybe a reminding for some at certain points uh, along the week that you're making the right choices, that you um, don't need to or should not moving forward second guess anymore all right uh, trust in yourself trust in the answers you've gained and that you feel wholeheartedly within you may be pushed to look within as I'm uh, being pushed back to the four of swords uh, but take a deep breath my friend take a deep breath it feels like things are working out better than you realize and there's a sense of um, somebody drawn to the reading gaining clarity rewinding past uh Rewinding back uh, further than this week, sorry, I'll reword that. There was a, a piece of clarity for something important for you that you gained uh, before this week. And you're going to be reminded of it. Okay, you need to remember because that is part of how things are meant to fall into place. But the attraction and magnetism card um, is paired with the Ace of Wands. You're attracting in a lot of new passion, I want to say. Um, you're attracting in support and guidance. And I'm hearing favoritism uh, to support, um, to benefit rather, uh, a new passionate beginning uh, of some sort for you moving forward. Um, I feel like you are as well attracting in a lot of compliments, praise, um, love, and again, support. That seems to be a big word for you this week. But it feels like the clouds are clearing, but you're needing to remember to take care of yourself, not only when it comes to rest and replenishment, um, in recovery all the meanwhile, but things like uh, drinking water, eating healthy foods, protecting your energy, my friend, because things are going to affect you throughout the week. Let's pull a couple more tarot. Your facial expressions are going to be key throughout the week, and I feel like there are going to be noise factors and uh, energy factors you have to cope with, deal with, but you will do pretty damn well at that. But it could overwhelm you for a hot second or two. Um, and I feel like where there is bad energy, do your best to steer clear. It's not always that easy, right? Um, but when a situation feels uh, like it's taking a turn in the wrong direction energy-wise, or it just has bad energy in general, step away from it, okay? If you have the option to do so. It's not always that black and white, but spirit's saying that's going to be part of protecting your energy or bringing yourself back to a high vibration. If you feel like that's dipping or if you feel like you're not sitting in your own energy per se. Sorry as I'm being very much uh, distracted by someone shuffling through the trash outside, but the um, Four of Cups and the Knight of Swords definitely speaks upon this being a week where we're highlighting through all of this progression, development, favoritism, and uh, positive uh, results, okay? Um, we're highlighting who and what's not meant for you from the past, and more so when it comes to what's at hand. So we can adjust and proceed and, you know, make sure that our path is a lot healthier moving forward and a lot easier because you deserve that. But it feels like when things do feel quite easy for you at certain points throughout the week, do give credit where credit's due to yourself and I want to say to spirit as well. Um, and a choice you made rewinding back. I feel like somebody's being reminded a, a housing situation specifically you left behind could be a job for a select few or maybe a relationship to go for those three main categories um that is in rough shape or they're in rough shape um and this was the right choice for you uh in one way shape or form to shift away from that um commitment of some sort or the potential of which 
but yeah it feels like you're getting ready to you're being prepared to move towards more for yourself and i feel like there's true levels of motivation throughout the week that's going to be put to use and gain will help you gain certain levels of abundance and you'll feel empowered through it more so afterwards but do um know wholeheartedly be aware that you are attracting a lot at this time in a positive sense you're manifesting a ton and co-creating with spirit so you need to recognize that with that said and done um that's a huge power of yours so tread carefully with what you wish what with what you focus upon and actually believe it's a week where once again taurus you're truly favored and you are truly the chosen one okay so if this was truly helpful Sending you so much love and light. Go enjoy your week and I'll see you next time.